Here's our first example problem using variation of parameters method. So we have a second order non-homogeneous equation, y double prime minus 9y equals x over e to the 3x. So based on the left side of this equation, the auxiliary equation would be m squared minus 9. Solving the associated homogeneous equation, we would solve that equal to 0. Here we will get that m is equal to plus or minus 3 when we solve this after doing the algebra. And so that will give us y sub c, our complementary function, as c1 e to the 3x plus c2 e to the minus 3x. And so based on that, we will have that y1 is equal to e to the 3x and y2 is equal to e to the minus 3x. And now we develop our Ronskian based on those functions. So the Ronskian will be the determinant of e to the 3x and e to the minus 3x and their derivatives in the second row, so 3e to the 3x and derivative of e to the negative 3x would be negative 3e to the minus 3x and that's going to equal this diagonal minus this diagonal, so we'll get negative 3 e to the 3x e to the minus 3x minus 3 e to the 3x e to the minus 3x. So you'll notice e to the 3x e to the minus 3x multiplying those together will give us e to the 0, so we'll get negative 3 minus 3, so our Ronsky in there will be negative 6 and now we need to continue by finding w1 and w2 as well. So remember for w1, the one telling us to take out the first column of our original Ronskian and replace it with all zeros except for the last entry being equal to g sub x. So we'll have 0 and then e, or sorry, x over e to the 3x, which is our g of x up there. So we'll leave the second column alone, e to the minus 3x, negative 3e to the minus 3x. We do our determinant, the first term will be 0 there, minus x over e to the 3x times e to the minus 3x. And so that will then give us their negative x e to the minus 6x would be the simpler way to write that. And now we also need w2. So w2 then. That means we replace 0 and g sub x in the second column. So 0 and x over e to the 3x go in column 2. And then we'll leave column 1 alone from the original, which is e to the 3x and 3e to the 3x. And now doing derivative there, we'll get x over e to the 3x times e to the 3x minus, when we do that diagonal, that'll be 0. So these will reduce, and that will give us x for w2. Okay, so now based on everything that we have, so we're trying to develop the particular solution. Remember, y sub p is going to equal u1 times y1 plus u2 times y2. We already have y1 and y2, so now we use the ideas from the Ronskians to develop u1 and u2. So remember, u sub 1 prime, the derivative, is going to equal w1 over w. In other words, negative x e to the minus 6x over negative 6. And then u sub 2 prime, so the derivative of u sub 2 is w2 over w, giving us x over negative 6. So we'll go ahead and say, so u sub 1 prime is equal to 1 sixth x e to the minus 6x. U sub 2 prime is just negative 1 sixth x. 
And so to find out what u1 and u2 are, we need to actually integrate. So in other words, u1 is equal to 1 sixth integral x e to the minus 6 x dx. u2 is going to be equal to negative 1 sixth integral of x dx. And so the one on the left here we would do integration by parts. Uh, u2 we would just do straight away. So when we figure out u sub 1, we should get negative 1 over 36 x e to the minus 6x minus 1 over 216 e to the negative 6x, technically plus c. u2, that will be negative 1 over 12 x squared. And so now just using y sub p equals u1 y1 plus u2 y2, so that'll be Here's our y1 and our y2. Here's our u1 and our u2. So this tells us y sub p is going to equal u1. So I'll write all that down again. times y1, and y1 was e to the 3x, plus u2, y2, so we have u2 is negative 1 twelfth x squared, y2 was e to the minus 3x. So when we do some simplifying there, that will give us negative 1 over 36 x e to the minus 3x minus 1 over 216 e to the minus 3x minus 1 twelfth x square e to the minus 3x. All right, so now we just need to write the solution. And so y is equal to y sub c plus y sub p. So y sub c we said was c1 e to the 3x plus c2 e to the minus 3x plus, and then we'll include the y sub p, so I guess actually we'll go ahead and say minus 1 over 36 x e to the minus 3x minus 1 over 216 e to the minus 3x minus 1 over 12 x squared e to the minus 3 x. And the thing we want to notice here is that technically our c2 e to the minus 3 x and negative 1 over 216 e to the minus 3 x, these are both like terms, right? We have an amount of e to the minus 3 x, another amount of e to the minus 3 x, since we don't know what the constant really is here, we have a constant minus 1 over 2 16 which is just going to be some unknown constant. So we'll go ahead and say these two terms are really part of the same term. And so when we answer the question here, we will say that y is equal to c1 e to the 3x plus c2 e to the minus 3x minus 1 over 36 x e to the minus 3x minus 1 twelfth x squared e to the minus 3x.